back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday afternoon. It's about three o'clock on Thursday in Tucson, Arizona. It's, it's pretty hot outside, okay? I'm looking at the window. It's about over 100 degree with about 30, I think 40% humidity is pretty warm, okay? Pretty toasty out. So anyway, if you guys are in Arizona, make, make sure to stay cool and drink a lot of water, okay? So this afternoon, okay, usually every Thursday we dedicate it to La Pabone. But uh, I'm going to big shout out to uh, Patrick from Rock Espresso. He hooked us up with uh, their coffee grinder and also machine as well. So next few months, uh, every Thursday, we are going to play with Rock Espresso machine. Okay, it could be Rock, it could be Flare, but mostly Rock. And I mean, I'm really looking forward to playing with this machine. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, it's a lot of fun. So if you're new to the Rock Espresso, uh, actually, if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the live streaming. By the way, let me know if your video quality is bad right now, okay? I'm looking at my screen over there. It's a little fuzzy. So, uh, if you guys are watching, uh, let me know, okay? Let me know um, how my video quality is. Uh, if it's bad, okay, I think. Oh, well, okay, we're just going to move on. Okay, so, you know what? Let's give you guys a better look here. So this is the Rock Espresso. So this, I believe this is a newer version. Okay, so this is the Espresso machine. Just simple, uh, pretty much, oops. Uh, but uh, you, can, you can purchase with a bottomless pour filter if you wanted to. So this is what comes with. Uh, just this is actually here. As you can see, it comes with this plastic. So if you wanna do single shot, if you wanna share with somebody, you can do that, but you know what? Most times we're gonna use double shot anyway, so we're not gonna use this. We're not gonna use the this plastic one here. I'm just gonna take it out for now, okay? And to put the water in, lock it in. Uh, this is a leveler as well. It's all manual, okay? And then we have the hand grinder. I, I believe you can actually buy a combination. You can buy the package. So it comes with the cup. Grinder, so this is our rock espresso grinder. I mean, we used it a few times on this channel. I mean, it works pretty good. So far, we set at number five clicks. Okay, we are clicking number five clicks, so we are going to use that. And then I have a fellow stack. You know what, let's uh, heat up some water here. I think I'm gonna go uh, all the way to 100 C, okay, 100 Celsius. So that's the max. We're gonna use a boiling water. All right, and then let's use some, uh, let's use a uh, 15 gram. Okay, so this is a uh, Good Brothers Coffee Espresso Blend. Okay, so let's use a 15 gram. Okay, let's prepare the puck. Uh, let's get going. Okay, hold on a second. By the way, if my video quality is bad, let me know. Okay. Okay, uh, let me, uh, Dylan, uh, how's my video quality? Is that okay or? Let me know as well. Let's see here. If not, we just move on. So I'm just gonna flip my camera around. Okay, like uh, comes to again. So there is no heating element. Again, so there's no heating element in a rock espresso machine, just like flare. You have to warm up, okay? You have to warm up the water by hand. So, oh, by the way, so I'd like to do a couple dummy shots before. I mean, if you are thinking about buying one, just make sure you lock it in first, okay? You're gonna lock it in the port filter and do the dummy shots. I'm just gonna put some water here. I'm gonna do some couple dummy shots. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm just going to hold it right there for now because I do want to heat up the water chamber. Okay, but meantime, I'm gonna hold that 100 Celsius for my fellow stack there, okay. I'm just gonna hold it. 
Okay, so let's go. I'm just gonna set it right there. So let's do 15 gram. So let's do 15 gram here. Okay, I'm just gonna set. Okay, if you guys are new to the Rock Espresso, this is a 49 millimeter, but it's not 49 sake. They're slightly bigger, okay? Because I was hoping they're similar size as the Lapaboni. So, so this is the Lapaboni uh, po uh, photo filter, and I have the bottomless for. So this is the Rock. This, I think this is a 51. Okay, rock is 51. So I have 49. It doesn't quite fit. So I bet you the 51 there. Okay, so I have 15 gram ready to go here. So whenever I use a uh, rock, I mean the rock uh, express grinder, I like to use the RDT method. Okay, I'm just going to have a little bit of water. My fingertips. Just go through your to your coffee grinds, okay? So let's find out how much retention we're gonna get. So you got 15 in, okay? Comes to user uh, usability of hand grinder are fantastic, okay? It's a lot easier than regular hand grinder. And it smells wonderful. Okay. You don't want to lose that, yeah. So I mean it's not it's very easy, okay? It's not too bad going to top it uh, with a rock espresso grinder you see that uh, look like a little arm there so that's kind of push the coffee grinds uh, grind beans down okay uh, it's well designed I like it all right I'm just going to get the, all the coffees out just tap it Okay. Comes to static. There's no issues with static. Pretty good. So I got we got 15 gram in. We got 14.7 gram out. Okay. So it works pretty good. So it's about 14.7. So about 0.3 gram retain it. So it, it actually it works really good. All right. So now we got the water is boiling. Time to pull the shot, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna. We're gonna do one more dummy shot here. I'm gonna do one more dummy shot for some hot water. It's gonna lift. I'm just gonna wait up a few seconds. Okay. Now we are ready for a shot. Okay. Not too bad. Okay. Okay, here's my temping station. Comes to workflow, it's not too bad. I mean, as you can see, we, we are doing live, live streaming here. I mean, it comes to workflow wise, pretty simple. 
Okay, so I have this my uh, this is 54 millimeter dosing funnel. It's not quite fit, but it works. Okay, kind of works. Kind of, not quite, but it's close. Yeah, and then this uh, I'm using this puck rake. Okay, actually puck rake definitely helps. I'm just going to use my puck rake there. Yep, works pretty good. So this is the rock tamping tool. Just be consistent, okay? I'm just going to polish one more time. Not bad. Okay, looks pretty good. All right, so we got 15 gram in, around 15 there, so I'm thinking let's do a 1 to 2 ratio, about 30 gram out. Hold on, hopefully this scale works. Okay, maybe. Hold on, maybe, here we go. So let's do one to two ratio. Here we go, guys. First, I'm gonna put some water in. And then we are going to do some pre-infusion right now. I'm just gonna lift the lever up, hold on. That scale is not working good. Hold on a second, guys. Let's try this scale. Yeah, we are going to lift the liver. The anger is pretty bad, but we'll see. So right now, we are doing the pre-infusion right now. Doing the pre-infusion here. I'm gonna wait about, I don't know, like five or six seconds. Okay, and I'm going to give it a good start pressuring it. So it's a little pre-infusion here. I'm just going to lift up. Here we go. I got 20, okay, as you can see, I think my grinder size is too coarser, okay? I got about 20 gram out, 28 gram. I think this is too fast, okay? I think we have to adjust the grinder size. Hold on a second, but you know what, let's try anyway. Okay, let's try the shot. That's more like turbo shot there, okay? That's a more like turbo shot. Hold on, let me flip the camera around. If you guys are looking for turbo shot, that was it. Okay. Let's try this. So this is a espresso blend. So it's gonna be very nutty, chocolatey, and what else is tasting notes? A creamy, smooth, and sweet, okay? Cheers. Okay. Definitely sour, but a little bit smooth. But again, the shot was pretty bad. Okay, so I think, I think we're gonna do one more time. Okay, so let's see. Looks good for latte. Yes, Eric, it definitely looks good for latte. So uh, let, you know, let's do one more. You know, what, let's do one more time. Okay, because. Since we have some time here right now, so I'm just gonna heat up my water again. Uh, let's take a look at the puck. Okay, I'm just gonna take the. I'm just gonna drain everything now. 
remove the puck. It's not bad, it's all wet. Okay. Okay, it's not too bad. Come right up. By the way, this is so much easier than flare though, I have to say. I have to say this is a lot easier than flare. So I'm just gonna clean up here one more time. So there was five click, okay? The five click on the grinder. So which means we need to go uh, maybe like four click there, four or two, all right? Okay, I'm just gonna get all the water out there. So I think we need about what, four clicks, maybe three. That was too fast. So let's do one more. Okay. And the second time is always better though because now everything is in there and nice and hot. So I'm just gonna put some more water in to heat it up. Uh, we're still gonna do the 15 gram. We have, uh, goodness, we got friends from all over the world right now. We have a seed from Australia. Welcome to the channel. Okay. So let's do 15 again. Okay, here we go, 15, 14, 15, that's it. Okay. I think I messed up guys. Hold on a second. Hold on. Because I forgot which way. Hold on a second. Okay, so this great thing about the live streaming, okay? You get to see the good and the bad here. Hold on. Nope. Wrong. So right now, so this is a zero right now. So counterclockwise is zero. Okay, all the way. So we're gonna do one, two, three clicks. Hold on a second. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do one, two, three. All right, let's go. So let me show you the better view. Hold on a second. That's better. Hopefully you guys can see the, the little things in action there. Okay, by the way, so last one, we did the RDT on it. This one, we did not. Okay, RDT means Ross uh, Droplet Technique. As you can see, without the RDT, with the rock, you have a lot of static there, static buildup, so. So with the rock express grinder, I highly recommend the RDT method. Uh, put a couple drops on, on your finger, and just go through it. It's definitely make a big difference, okay? So as we can see, we got a, a lot of coffee grinds coming up. I mean, that's more than a couple grams right there, okay? Uh, yeah, so definitely use the RDT. So we're not gonna waste this coffee, okay? I know some of you might waste, but not my channel, okay? We're gonna save that coffee grind. Okay, just like that. So let's prepare the coffee.
Okay. Water is hot. So uh, definitely we're going to get a better result this time for sure. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay, so having a puck puck rig definitely helps. I like to just spread it a little bit before we temp. Like so. Give it a good temp. Make sure even pressure. Now we are ready to go. We're going to do the same thing as the last time. Let's do, let's try to shoot for 15 gram here right now. Okay, there we go. Lock it in. Water. All right, let's put a shot here. We're going to do the pre-infusion first. What I like to do is I like to give it a like a little push, okay? Let's soak the bed here. Okay, let's give it a little push. Slowly, maybe like one or two bar pressure. Whatever you see first drop there, that's your sign. Okay. Okay, and then I see the first drop. I'm just gonna lift one more time. We are going to get a good pump. I think my grinder size still. They're still fine, uh, still, still coarser, okay? I mean, it seems like it's still coarser there, so I think I have to make a little finer. Yeah, that shot was too fast. So right now, I'm at, what, three clicks? Or what I have to do is I have to up my dosing amount. So there is a couple different ways to uh, slow down the shot, okay? The slow down the extraction. So, anyway, I think, so by the way, so this is my kind of like first time using the machine with the, you guys, kind of like live streaming. Uh, as you guys know, I don't usually practice, okay? I don't usually practice, okay? Who needs practice? Uh, I just like to go live with you. So you guys are going to see kind of like first time experience with this machine. So that's the whole point of my live streaming, okay? So give you guys the, the you know, give you guys all the, the true, the true live experience. Let's put it that way. So let's try this anyway. Okay. Better than first one. Okay. But it's not good enough. Okay. It's not good enough, good enough for us. So, so here's what we're going to do. So we're going to go back to this next Thursday as well. So every Thursday we are going to play with the rock. Okay. So now we have the baseline. As you saw, my shots are terrible today. Okay. Okay. So it's okay. That's the, it's only our first day. So, uh, so every Thursday we are going to play with the rock and then hopefully we are going to dial it in uh, uh, throughout the weeks. And then by next few weeks, and then we are going to get, hold on, Justin mentioned about the don't lift. Okay. So we are going to go over that next few weeks. Okay. So this is kind of like, the first time ever using the Rock Express machine. So, uh, don't get discouraged by, I'm not discouraged, I'm pretty encouraged by this machine so far. I mean, I love the workflow so far. So far, it's been, it's been fun, okay. It's a Kala P has a double pump plunge, adjusting the pump. Yes, yes, it is Kala, okay. So, so we are going to fine tune the, so we are going to fine tune the grinder size 
Okay, Carla has some great uh, comment there. I'm reading it right now. Okay, so again, you, you can uh, increase and decrease the grinder size for your extraction. Okay, and also whenever you up your dosing amounts, and also you can impact your speed of also you can impact your uh, extraction as well. So, so this machine, I got a lot to learn. Okay, a lot to learn because. With the Lapaboni, it took me a long time to figure things out, just like Flare. So, I mean, again, Rock Espresso is just like any other the manual machines out there. It does uh, take time, okay? It the, does take time. Uh, let's see. I, I mean, Carla has uh, another great point as well, okay? They're, it's not the same, but, I mean, Carla, I mean, I'd love to have you on my Instagram live, okay? Uh, why don't you join us? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna, so we are going to finish this right now. And if you are, if you are up to it, uh, why don't you join us for my, our Instagram live and then just give us about your thoughts on that, okay? I, I love to hear from you. It'd be, it'd be a lot of fun, okay? It'd be a lot of fun to just uh, talk for a little bit if you want, okay? You have the open invitation. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys liked uh, this machine, okay? I know it's the first time, but uh, we are going to, we are going to figure things out next few months. So, uh, so tomorrow we are going to play with uh, Flare tomorrow. And then, yeah, Carla, I mean, if you're up to it, uh, join us, okay? We'll be waiting for you. All right, and I'm gonna see you guys on Instagram.